So an atmospheric river is actually an elongated feature in the atmosphere. You can see it really well actually on satellite imagery. It's fairly narrow, it could be, you know, 100 to 200 kilometers in width, but it can span actually several thousands of kilometers in length. And so we'll typically have a north to south component, often tapping into moisture in the subtropical regions, including the Hawaiian Islands, and infect that moisture often towards the northeast and the coast of BC, along other regions of North America. Atmospheric rivers um, influence BC actually, particularly in the fall. So September and October is when we get the highest number, typically five or six events each month. November is also a, a, a month with a, a lot of storms, uh, but typically along the British Columbia Pacific coast, we get about 35 events each year. So it's a high number and these storms are expected to intensify and actually increase in frequency uh, with climate change. In fact, by the end of the century, the 21st century, we're expecting maybe four times as many of these storms.